Welcome back to the Tarantula Cave. In this episode, we're going to rehouse three of my spiders. We're doing the Brazilian Salmon Pink, the Mexican Red Rump, and the Honduran Curly Hair. Enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to do a rehousing video. I thought it was about time I did one. Uh, I got three spiders that needed rehousing because the, uh, the tubs I've got them in got a bit small for them and they're struggling to find a place to hide because they're squishing themselves in corners and stuff. So I went out, I bought some three litre really useful boxes and I've decorated them up just for these three species. Um, so I'm gonna just talk you through what I did. Um, it went kind of okay. All three of them decided to flick a load of urticating hairs at me, but thankfully none of them stuck in my skin. I didn't breathe any in. I'm still here to tell the tale, so it all went pretty smoothly as far as I'm concerned. And uh, yeah, it's good. So, um, so yeah, let's check it out. All right, we're gonna start with my Brazilian Salmon Pink. This one is um, a bit of a character. It's also very fat. Um, yeah, I'm gonna assume it's a she because I haven't had a malt to be able to prove uh, a good enough malt to be able to show whether or not she's male or female. So we're going with she for now, um, and as you can see, she's uh, she likes to give me a bit of attitude. Yeah, I wasn't really sure the best way to approach this. I was hoping she would just walk out of her existing enclosure into the new one, but she was pretty attached, so in the end, I went for a, a different approach. But yeah, she just kept turning around to face the brush. She wasn't exactly aggressive, but just uh, very, very hair flicky, as you can see. Took a bit of persuading her to climb over that lip. Once she was in, she was fine, you know? But it just, I think they get really attached to their enclosures because that's their safe place. And, and actually in a small box, it feels like the lid of the enclosure is like the top of their burrow. So they get super kind of, um, they get super upset when you take the lid off because it's like taking the lid off their burrow, I guess. Anyway, she's in now and, uh, and having a great time. All right, next up, Mexican Red Rump. Uh, this one, uh, she wedged herself in the corner of the box, so I decided the easiest thing to do would be to persuade her onto this piece of bark and then from there, try and persuade her to go into this hole I made in the new enclosure so that she could start a burrow. She actually got on the bark really helpfully, um, but yeah, just like the salmon pink, she's flicking hairs all over the shop. Um, I guess it's just half of the course if you work with tarantulas. So next step, get her into the burrow. So yeah, the enclosure is really basic. It's just, you know, I pretty much filled it two thirds with coconut fiber. Um, and then, uh, and then stuck a piece of coral bark over the top of a hole I made so that the, uh, the tea can build a hole from there. More hair, thank you very much. Okay, just need to persuade the last legs to come off the, uh, the bark there and then it's job done. So, Mexican red rumps can be quite skittish, which is why I left the lid at the end of the enclosure there to stop her running out the other end. Finally, onto this Honduran curly hair. It was really well positioned in the corner of the enclosure to just persuade out of the corner and onto the cork bark, but even this one decided it was gonna flick hairs at me. I wasn't really thinking about where the camera was, so unfortunately I've blocked all of the action with my big fat hand. Uh, so yeah, sorry for that. In you go. This was actually the easiest of the three just because I kind of knew what she was going to do. She just did everything I wanted to, just with a bit more a bit more hair flicking than I would have liked. But in the end, I got away with all three without any hair stuck in my skin, no irritation, no nothing. I just 
moved them across, put the lids on, packed everything away, and then just made sure I hoovered up after myself to make sure there weren't any hairs floating around in the conservatory. And there she is, what a beauty. Okay guys, well thanks for watching. Uh, just to remind you that there is a Tarantula Cave Instagram profile and a Twitter profile and a Facebook page. So if you wanna look them up, then please do so. It'd be great if you could follow or like as appropriate. Um, I'll leave links to all three in the comments below. And yeah, if you've got any thoughts on this rehousing, ways I could have done it better, I'm sure there are ways, um, then yeah, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. See you next time.